Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, then welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I take my Instagram photos myself at my home in this quarantine time without any help or without any photographer that too at my room only so i am going to share with you my five to six poses or instagram photo ideas which you can also try at your home by yourself so if you guys find this interesting then keep on watching but before starting this video make sure to subscribe my channel hit that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to tap the bell icon next to that so without any further ado let's get started with the video as you can already see i have a new background today okay this one is the first idea i'm going to share with you for the first idea, I'll be using this corner of my room, which is the only corner I have with some space left there, which is just beside the window. So I'll be moving around all the things from that corner and make some space for me to sit there and to give poses for my pictures. So you also need to find that corner of your room where you can give poses and you can find a nice background there so i am taking here some piles of newspaper which is readily available at your home by using a cello tape i will try to stick those newspapers on the wall so that to get a nice background for pictures to click you can also use chart papers of any color you want your background to be a good photo depends on a good background so your background should be good so i'm using there my pile of storybooks as a tripod for those who don't have tripod at home they can use this method you just have to keep your mobile in a standing position so i'll try to pose here like a pro model now in front of the background <laughs> just kidding you just need to pose casually and elegantly by setting timer on your phone you can click as many photos as you can i have taken some close-up photo also so these are the results this is the raw file and this is the edited one this is the raw again and edited one you must edit your photos after taking your pictures to give that pro look to your pictures if that makes sense so for next idea i am going to use this huge mirror which i have on my cupboard which is just next to the window and i'll be posing around in front of the mirror by keeping the camera as if its reflection doesn't falls on the mirror a good images depends upon a good lighting so i prefer natural lighting so this is the raw file and this is the edited one which is bam again the raw file and the edited one you can see how an edit can change the whole mood of the picture so editing is must so for the next one i am using this more punk or peacock's feather which i have in my home and by keeping this in front of the camera i'll be posing around you can use coloring flowers also which you can keep in front of your camera and you can pose and trust me guys it will give you a beautiful result afterwards so here's my result this is the raw file and this one is the edited one so if you guys want to know my editing process how i edit my pictures let me know in the comment box below i'll definitely do that for you so for the next one i am using this ornamental tree which i have at my room only by using the same method i got these pictures this is in the cool tone and this is the warm tone 
so you can see how the editing changes the whole tone and mood so these are all the pictures i got from this tree for the next one i am using my tripod yes i am using this tripod now for my mobile to stand on it if you guys don't have tripod you can use my this method which i invented in my style so you can find whichever you feel comfortable and now i'm setting my mobile on timer and i'll be using this dupatta or chunni which is lighter in shade so lighter chunni or dupatta will work nicely and just stick the dupatta on the mobile and play around with it and just pose like what yes that's right pro model and i got this amazing photos and after editing you can see how it's turned out so i took some portrait photos also you can see how amazing photos i got by using this dupatta method you can use any dupatta you have of any color so for the next one i changed my outfit and i'm going to use my pile of story books or novels for the next photo idea and i am just keeping these books upside down on the floor which will be my background and this is how it looks so for this i asked my dad to help me out and i slept over the books and he took some of my photos you can ask anyone you have with you at your home if you don't have tripod so i got this pictures and this is the edited one he took some amazing photos yes these photos turned out nicely after editing so i'm happy with these pictures so i went ahead and used my tripod again and put my mobile on the tripod and inverted all the books and kept my tripod on to that as you can see now i am going to pose like this and by setting timer on my phone i'll be posing this looks little bit dull but after editing you will find how amazing it will be i have taken this book and posing with it this is the raw one bomb this is the edited one the raw one and again bomb i hope you like my editing process if you do so then please let me know in the comment box below i'll be happy to know that so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys like my each and every photo ideas if you do so then please hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe my channel also if you haven't already and please let me know which one is your favorite one in the comment section below i will definitely give you a reply so i will see you guys in my next video till then bye bye